Hi there, this is Dr. Ryan Hewitt of Merrimack Valley Wellness Center. Uh, and today I'm doing a video of nine movements for lower back pain. So this program could be for someone that struggles with lower back pain that's looking to correct their problem. Um, this could be for someone who's looking for a great warm-up routine. Uh, if they have chronic back issues so they could do pre-workout. Uh, also a great morning routine or someone that wants to use this during the day uh, as they do do a lot of sitting or if they're standing all day. Um, most of the time with uh, most folks today, lower back pain is coming from um, specific imbalances in the body. A lot For a lot of people, it's weakness in the glutes, weakness in the abs, tightness in the lower back, tightness in the hip flexors. So the nine exercises that we're going to do today are targeted to um, rewire movement and re-educate the body to uh, integrate new patterns and um, you know lower or lessen or eliminate lower back pain. So the three different sequences we're going to do is number one we're going to stretch, then we're going to activate, and then we're going to integrate. So we're going to stretch tight muscles. We are going to activate uh, muscles that are um, quieted or ones that aren't working properly. And lastly, we're going to integrate um, all of these new balances into uh, functional movement. So. Number one, let's start with stretches. Real basic stretch that I like to teach here is a lunge stretch. So simply put yourself in a lunge position. Okay, so knee over top of the ankle. And what you wanna do is um, pressing into the thigh here, you wanna just push this right hip, my right hip, straight forwards. So you're just leaning ever so slightly. You should feel a nice pull, a nice stretch through the hip flexor on the right side there, okay? Make sure you're not leaning forward like this and getting sloppy with that. You want to just push that hip forwards like this, getting a nice stretch through the pelvis. We're going to do both sides, okay? And you want to hold for a good count of 10 to 15 seconds, okay? So once you've got the hip flexors stretched out, um, the next thing that we're, we're going to stretch out um, is the, the groin. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get into something called a goalie stretch. Okay, so nice and wide, feet, hands flat on the floor. You're just going to rock very gently back and forth like so. You're going to press backwards, okay, into the groin and into the glutes and backwards like that. Okay, from the side, simply looks like this. Okay, and you should really feel this working through your groin area as well as um, the glutes. Okay, now the last one, we're going to stretch out some of the external rotators of the hip. So you're going to find a chair or something um, you can sit on. What you're going to do is you're going to put your foot on your opposite knee. And what you want to do is just put a slight pressure down on the knee like so. Okay, you should really feel the pull on the outside of that hip, you know, glued external rotator area. And just put some nice pressure downwards here. Okay, and hold this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. And make sure you do both sides. As you can see, this side is a lot harder for me. You might find that you have those imbalances. A lot of times you'll find that the hip that's harder for you to externally rotate, it'll be harder for you to internally rotate the other one. So that groin stretch, you might feel it more on the other side. Really get this warmed up, nice and stretched. All right, now once we've got all of our stretches done, then we're gonna work on activating. So you're going to need two different tools for activation. Very cheap, and you'll use these a lot. Foam roller and a lacrosse ball. Okay, you've probably seen these tools before. Super cheap. So number one, let's use the foam roller. And what we're going to do is we're going to roll the glute and the outside area of the hip all the way down the outside of our leg. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to lay this on top of your hip here. And very slowly, you're going to roll back and forth here. And you're going to get all the way up that leg, all the way back. And what you want to do is you want to do about 10 to 15 passes, nice and slow. Okay? On both sides. Okay, just like that, you're going to find some sensitive areas in that hip, so just go nice and slow over those. Try to release some of the tension in those areas. 
and we're waking up some tissue as well. Some areas that aren't, weren't contracting as well before. Okay, now after you've done the outer leg here, we're gonna do some of the inner thigh. So what you wanna do is place this at about a 45 degree angle, and you're just gonna lay that right into the inside of the groin, okay? So you're gonna start on the inside of the groin, and you're just going to, again, very slowly roll up and down. And you can lean forwards a little bit, lean backwards, try to find those areas of tissue tension. Try to release some of those, okay? Flip this, do the other side. Again, you want to do this nice and slowly for about 10 to 15 passes. Okay, you might find some tense areas up near the pelvic attachment. You might find some more towards the knee. Okay, so once we've done those two, the last one we're going to do is we're going to use our lacrosse ball. And we're going to get into the glute area. So this one is going to be a little more sensitive than the other ones. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your opposite foot on the knee, sort of like we did for the external rotator stretch. And you're going to lay that lacrosse ball right underneath your glute. You're going to prop yourself up, and you're going to control the amount of pressure that you're going to put down there. If you let all your body weight sit on that, it's going to be really painful. So just try to control that and move that around and really try to find those sensitive areas. Wow, I've got some good ones in there. And again, try and do this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. Move around, try to release some of those areas. Don't put yourself through too much discomfort. And as always, make sure you do both sides. Like so. This is really good for those of you that sit more than four to five hours a day. You're gonna find a lot of those trigger points in the hip and the glute area. Okay, so we've done our stretching, our activation, now let's work on our integration. So now that we got things firing differently and we got tight muscles lengthened, we're gonna teach the body what it feels like to move more naturally. So number one, we're gonna do something called a hip bridge. Very simply, you're gonna lay flat on the floor, okay, feet shoulder width apart, hands flat on the ground. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lift your hips all the way to the sky. Really squeezing the butt and the hamstrings and the lower back. Recruiting all that posterior chain, right? All that stuff that doesn't do any work when we're sitting throughout the day. And we're gonna push up and down. You're gonna hold that contracted position for three to five seconds. Lower your body, do 10 to 15 reps. All right? So those are called hip bridges. Um, now, the next movement we're gonna do is something that uh, is one of my favorite movements, and that's a, a squat. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your feet shoulder width apart, okay? Um, toes, you know, forward or slightly out is fine. What you're gonna do is you're gonna think about three different things. You're gonna think about sending your butt back, keeping your chest up, and driving your knees out. Butt back, chest up, knees out. Ready? Okay, butt back, chest up, knees out. Okay, nice and slow. Try to get to parallel or even a little below if you can, as long as you still feel that lower back turned on and up. Squeeze your butt at the top. This is what it looks like from the side. Okay, butt back, chest up, knees out. Okay, squeeze your butt at the top. So 10 to 15 reps of those. And that'll really integrate all that hip extension, your glutes, um, groin, hamstring, and especially lower back as well. All right, now the last movement, I really like to teach something called a bird dog. So you're gonna go all fours on the ground here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your opposite hand and opposite leg, okay? Trying to keep your hips nice and square and send them both outwards, okay? Really be careful that you're not dipping your pelvis down. Try to keep your lower back nice and straight, hips facing downwards. And again, hold for three to five seconds. Make sure we're doing both sides. Nice and strong through the arms and legs. So we're not lazy through any of this movement. All right, so uh, about 10 reps per side is the recommendation. So this routine you can do throughout the day. 
Um, if, you're if you're sitting all day, I recommend doing this at least twice a day. Um, for those of you that suffer with lower back pain, this is a great routine to do, absolutely do daily. Um, and you should see some results, you know, doing this with some consistency. So thanks for watching and uh, look for my next video.